Money to be made out in the Everglades if you aren't afraid of big snakes and you know how to track and catch them. Local 10's Todd Tongan, he's always up for an adventure, so he went out on Python Patrol today. He joins us live now to tell us how it went, Todd. Well, you know, if I wasn't standing in the middle of the Everglades, if I was in Vegas, I'd have to say a gambling term, I rolled snake eyes. Unfortunately, we did not bag a snake. The weather conditions just weren't right. But this program is so unique, the first of its kind in the nation, and it just began today. In the coming weeks, they will determine whether this is a success or not. Tom Rayhill from the Swamp Apes organization has been catching pythons in the Florida Everglades for years. He has personally captured over 400 of the invasive species, but now he is a paid professional python hunter. It's a, a whopping 8, 10 an hour. The first four feet is $50. It's 25 feet for every additional foot. Thanks to a $200,000 pilot program by the South Florida Water Management District, two dozen other hunters will scour the Everglades like Tom. Today, we cruise by car and by truck, the long roadways in the Southern District restricted land. Typically, a healthy python, it, when they come out, whatever environmental factors, the, the rain, the temperature, the barometric pressure, whatever the cause is, when you see a python coming out, it's very likely that all the other pythons in the area will be moving as well. We also hiked through marshy scrub and sawgrass to a hammock we were hopeful had snakes. Trails that the python leaves, scat, basically, which is the python feces, uh, sheds that the pythons will shed. Well, you'll know it's in the area. How about what you're looking for to spot a python? You said something about a glisten. There's a glisten. The pythons have a sheen that come off of their skin. While the majesty and beauty of the Everglades cannot be denied, we were. We didn't bag a snake, but officials are confident under the right conditions, these professional python hunters will snag a significant amount of snakes, and hopefully they will help lessen the harmful impact they have on this enchanting environment. Now, even though we didn't see one today, they insist they are out there. The weather conditions just weren't right. They don't really like the wind. It's breezy out here. They like it when it's cold at night and then the sun comes out in the morning. Then they really come out. So in the coming weeks, those 25 hunters are going to be back out there every day, paid on an hourly basis and getting paid bonuses when they bag a snake. Then after the pilot program's up, they're going to sum up the numbers and see if it was a success. In the Florida Everglades, Todd Tongan, Local 10 News.